Speak English fluently. Synchronize reading practice. Beginner to intermediate level. Exercise 3. Memory and language. Be sure to watch the introductory video to this playlist before doing this exercise. Click on the link below in the description. Here are some instructions. 1. Turn up the volume so the teacher's voice is loud. 2. Read the words in red out loud at the same time as the teacher. And 3. Pay attention to the teacher's voice intonation and the word groups. Let's get started. Why you should remember just before you forget. Why should you remember something you are trying to learn just before you forget it? Because remembering it too early doesn't help, and trying to remember it too late means you have already forgotten it. At least, this is what the late Dr. Paul Pimsler discovered in his research. Dr. Pimsler became one of the world's leading experts on language teaching before his untimely death at the age of 48 in 1976. His language teaching courses have since become very popular. They include what he called graduated interval recall. In other words, remembering what you are learning by having it repeated just at the point before you forget. Repetition is a key factor in teaching language. The way it is done, however, can be equally as crucial. Monotonous drilling of words and phrases does nothing to excite the mind or engage the thinking processes. Repetition staged at intervals, with keywords and phrases presented in a variety of ways, can transform this main learning ingredient. Pimsler's recommended recall rate went as follows. 5 seconds... 25 seconds, 2 minutes, 10 minutes, 1 hour, 5 hours, 1 day, 5 days, 25 days, 4 months, 2 years. While there may be some flexibility in that schedule, it gives some idea as to the kind of repetition required for information to go into long-term memory. The graduated interval recall method can be employed by using 1. flashcards and pictures, 2. songs. By repeating songs, key phrases and collocations can be easily remembered. Closely associated with remembering before you forget is another key component of the Pimsler method, anticipation. Anticipation involves getting the student to recall information previously learned and then having it confirmed by the teacher. The student, therefore, is encouraged to anticipate a correct answer. How is a student encouraged to recall previously learned information? Simply through questions. Questions are the digging tools of the mind. The brain is greatly affected by a question. Of all the things we could be noticing at any given time, there is only a small number we can consciously focus on. By asking a question, either of yourself or of someone else, you can instantly change focus. Questions, questions, questions. They are the barbs that hook a learner's attention. So, by asking the student a question related to previously taught vocabulary, the brain is activated to dig through the memory bank, retrieve the appropriate information, and then present it audibly. The teacher then simply reinforces the answer by repeating what the student just said, thus confirming the student's answer and completing Pimsler's anticipation stage.
By combining the anticipation method using questions with graduated interval recall, repetition carefully staged at set time intervals, a language student will enjoy a much higher retention level. Such is the power of remembering just before you forget. That's the end of the reading. Repeat this exercise many times until you can synchronize your reading with the teacher. Practice other exercises in this playlist and see a major improvement in your English speaking fluency. Has this video helped you? Hit like now. Continually improve your English by subscribing to this channel. Hit the subscribe button now, then click the bell icon and choose all to be notified when there are new videos. And build a powerful English vocabulary with my free course on Udemy. Just go to goodenglish.online.